Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Cloud the Wolf. Welcome back to another RPG Maker MV tutorial. Last time, we went over some basics of RPG Maker. This included going over the skills, items, weapons, and how you can copy those over from an RPG Maker VX Ace project. Today, let's go over plugins. We sort of touched these last time, but let's go into a bit more detail with them. First of all, you'll need to get a plugin. As you can see, I don't have any here at the moment. You can get these from a link which you can find in the description below, which will take you to the Yanfly website for the plugin that we're going to be using today. First of all, you're going to need your plugin. Once you've downloaded it, you need to go into the JS folder of your game, and then Plugins, and copy it into here. We're going to be using the Yep Core Engine for this tutorial. The quick way to get to there is to go to Game, Open Folder, JS, Plugins, and paste them into there. This is where every plugin you'll be using will be going. Once you've done that, you need to add it to your game. To do that, click the Plugins icon here, or press F10. Right click and click Edit anywhere that there is blank lines. This will bring up the Plugin window. Select the plugin from the drop down list, and you will now be given a bit of information about the plugin, who it was created by, if it's on or off, any parameters that you can edit for this plugin, and also this help button here. Let's start by looking at the help screen. This will give you some basic information about the plugin, some bug fixes if it's been updated, and also some really useful commands you can use in the game. So, let's set this up and test it. As you can see, nothing's changed. Why is that? Well, we haven't actually done anything with the plugin, we've just installed it. So, many plugins need you to do certain things to activate them. In this case, for the core plugin, as well as doing some bug fixes to the overall RPG Maker engine, it has some configurable options that you can cover. Let's look at these now. The first one is the screen width and height. These will allow you to change the default screen resolution of your game, but by doing this, you will also need to change your maps to match this. Let's do this by changing our screen resolution now. Let's change it to 1280 by 720 for a 720p game. As you can see, when we edited these, it gives us some details on what this parameter does, and also tells us what the default was. We also have a whole load of other options here as well, including changing the animation rate, the fonts used by the game, and other useful features. But for this tutorial, we're just going to change the screen resolution because that's nice and easy to do. Once you're done, click OK, and OK again. Remember to save your project after doing this, because no effects will come in until this is done. This is both true if you're using playtest or battle test from your database. Well, let's take a look at it now. Look, our game's bigger now, but we didn't change our map to have a good background for it. But as you can see, that's now taken effect. And that is how you set up and use plugins in RPG Maker MV. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the description below. And as always, have fun, and I'll see you next time. When the sun